This is part three of the projectile motion packet. And so I was in the midst of explaining the balloonist problem and I said, well, solve it. So we've got our initial, um, we've got the given values and now we just need to put in the equation. And I do show this, how to do this on the packet. So rather than reinvent the wheel, I think it will just bring it down here. And here you can see the solution. Um, we're given these initial values, you plug them into the equation, including the 9.8 for acceleration due to gravity. And then what I did skip here was, um, I think, probably this section here. So if you want to see how to do the quadratic formula, um, maybe, I think I'm not going to do that right now, but I think the main point would be to notice what A is. Um, sometimes people might get a little confused thinking that A is 9.8, but it's not. It's one half times 9.8, and it's negative. So that's negative 4.9. So in your equation, it would be like negative 4.9 t squared minus 30 t plus 200. And so using these values, plugging them into the equation, you end up with two values for t, and so you get four seconds after it was thrown. Okay, um, the next question I'm just going to talk about also, because uh, it's worth talking about. So here again, we're going to draw it, maybe as we go. A batter hits a baseball when it's one meter off the ground. So here's my person who's a batter, and here's the ground, and this is one meter high. I think on most of my problems I assume that there's like no height for the initial starting hit, but on this one I do give it one meter. The vertical speed of the ball as it leaves the bat is 20 meters per second, so boom, something gets hit, and the initial vertical speed, I'll put it in red here, vertical speed is 20 meters per second. That's just the vertical. Okay, the, it's important. Vertical means just going up part. And it's horizontal speed. I'll put this in green. Horizontal is 22 meters per second. Okay, so find the time when the ball hits the ground in the outfield. We want to know what is the time t way out here. So you have to solve the vertical y equals negative one-half a g t squared plus v naught t plus y naught. That is the vertical height equation. Solve it when you set y equal to zero. And then you'll find out how long it takes. You'll, um, sorry, this isn't, what, when y equals zero, you will find the time. Find t when y equals zero. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, um, letter B, find the time when the baseball's at its maximum height. That will be at, at its vertex. At the vertex is when the x-coordinate equals negative b over 2a. So you can use this equation and have it be, here I'll put it in green, a, B, C, and use negative B over 2A to find the X coordinate. Then remember, um, so that tells you the time, all right? What is the maximum height of the ball? Plug that time in to that, that time into the vertical height equation y equals negative one half a g t squared plus v naught t plus y naught. And then no one caught the ball, how far did it go? Horizontal distance will be the horizontal speed times the time. So it'll be 22 meters per second times whatever you got for t for how long the ball is in the air. So that's the plan, and that's what you see happening in the next ser series of problems being solved. I do give the explanation all throughout there. The only thing to be aware of is I think I have a typo here. It's 4.2 seconds always, not 4.1. But that's basically it. So I hope that helped. Good luck.